couple of minutes. Hey, everybody.
Hello, Namaste, and Salaam, everyone. Welcome to our first episode of Season 2 of HH TV. This is Malin Patak, your anchor for today. Well, as you all know, the goal of this HH TV is basically an entertainment show targeted for our Highland Horizon community by that community. Well, thanks to all our presenters, our organizing team, our trivia sponsors, and audience for our season one. I think you all nailed it so very well that now we are here with season two. Well, our hope for season two is to reach a much wider audience in our community and make sure we all get connected and stay happy. <laughs> General reminders as we begin. Let's kind of stay a little muted most of the show so that we have our presenters are able to share what they are here to share with you all. And we will have trivia question after every segment. So make sure you're attentive. And uh, the answers are gonna be in those segments and the winners are going to be getting something in return. <laughs> something simple guys, but definitely something Fun. Um, you can use the chat feature, chat feature of the Zoom for um, you know sharing your answers to the questions. Whoever gets it right, the first person will be the trivia winner. And again, this is a family show. Please enjoy with all your older kids, younger kids, little tiny, little tinos, and then everyone. Please be here and let's sit back, relax, and enjoy our episode one. So, our first segment is Desert Dish. Well, this man has enjoyed all kinds of food, be it um, Indian, Italian, Chinese, American, and the list just goes on. And he is an occasional cook. However, when he does cook, they are all real specialties. He has a special place for Gujarati food and his wife believes or other learned to believe that post marriage key to his heart is through his tummy. <laughs> well, with that said, let's all welcome my awesome hubs husband, Namit Pathak. Hello. Hello, Kenjo. So today um, I'm going to show you uh, a little uh, dish or a snack dish uh, that I've been making for a while now. It's uh, it's called dabeli. It's actually Kutchi dabeli. Uh, so it's from the area in Gujarat called Kutch. It's a desert, and they make this really really spicy snack item. Um, and really, I think everybody enjoys a lot. I think it's, it's very popular in Rajasthan, Gujarat, Bombay, and I'm sure all the other places as well. So, um, you know, it, it takes a lot of, uh, uh, you know, other kind of chaat masalas and chutneys and all those things to make, which is easier uh, to make it. And let's go to the videos that I recorded sometime earlier, just to show you what are all the things that goes into I take it out. All right. So this is one of the main ingredient um, for dabeli. Uh, this is garlic chutney. Uh, you can make it as spicy as you like. You can 
add more or less to make your dabeli more spicy or less spicy, uh, whichever way you like. Um, so for that, we are going to take um, lots of garlic, um, and you know, this, these are some coriander seeds, the whole coriander seeds. These are some cumin seeds, and now you can roast them if you like, um, or you can just leave them as is. That's also should be okay. And then you have some uh, chili powder. You can take whole uh, red dried chilies as well. Uh, some salt, some lemon juice. Uh, now you can uh, you can do a mixture grinder to do it. Um, it's easier way. Or you know if you like to um, you know do some more hard work, you can use uh, the traditional uh, mortar and, and pestle like this. Um, personally, I think that adds an extra flavor to it if you do it this way. But you know. You can choose whatever you want. Um, and then uh, make sure it is a paste like this. I already made it. Um, and this is this is how it looks. It looks a little bit red and you know it indicates it's a very hot one. I made this one very hot, but you can you can make it to your taste. You can okay. So the other uh, ingredient in making dabeli is uh, peanut, uh, spicy peanuts or uh, masala peanuts. Now, uh, these are like a dry, spicy masala peanuts. Uh, so for that, uh, obviously you're gonna take some peeled peanuts over here, um, uh, roast them um, because you, you want it a little bit drier side, so roast them first. Um, and then um, after roasting it, just uh, heat up a little bit of oil. And this part you have to do very, very quickly. Uh, so heat up a little bit of oil and add all the masalas, uh, chili powder, turmeric powder, salt, coriander powder, and cumin powder. Add all these masalas really, really quick. Um, and then add your roasted peanut on, on top of it and turn off the flame completely. Uh, we don't want all these, uh, you know, ground masalas uh, spices to get burned up. So uh, just make them. Uh, you can also actually uh, buy them from the market. Uh, you will get it in HEV or you'll get it uh, uh, in any of the Indian stores as well. Um, so, um, and I just chose to make it this time around. Uh, and this is how it turned out to be. Okay, so now again, uh, there is no dabeli without dabeli masala. So you can get uh, dabeli masala out uh, in an Indian store or anything like that. I tend to make it uh, my own dabeli masala because I can then, um, you know, increase the spiciness or reduce the spiciness or you know, and adjust that way. So, but um, here are the main things that you need to make your dabeli masala. So first, uh, you take all this. Um, uh, spices, sabut masala. Um, uh, you have your uh, red dried chilies, uh, you have your uh, cinnamon sticks, you have your black pepper, uh, cumin seeds, and coriander seeds. Um, and then again, the main thing if you, if you have ever bought uh, a dabeli masala, uh, you get that typical flavor in the dabeli masala, and that comes from the cloves. Um, and clove is a very tricky ingredient. If you make it too much, then it's not going to taste good. If you take it too less, it's not going to taste like dabeli. It's going to taste like garam masala. So uh, just make sure you have the right proportion. Um, I would say in, in this way, uh, it's the same proportion as all the other things. Uh, and, and then if you can make it cloves a little bit lesser than all the other ingredients, I think that would be the uh, ideal way to make this. So first roast all these things together. Um, give it a good roast for like uh, five minutes, no oil, nothing, just a dry uh, roasting on a pan. Um, and then uh, let it cool down a little bit. Uh, put in a mixture grinder. And um, other than this, you need to add um, some sugar. Uh, 
these are um, whole uh, sugar cubes uh, you need to put in there. Um, this is pink salt or sancha, and this is regular salt. Um, this is all to your taste. You can, with these, you can make it a little bit less spicier or more spicier, depending upon how you, uh, how you want to make it. So grind it well, and it's gonna come out like this. Uh, this is gonna be your ideal consistency. It's not completely dry uh, because of clove and all those things. It kind of has some oil in it. So it won't be completely dry, but this is how it's gonna be turning out to be. So um, now we have made all the preparations. So let's start cooking. Um, so now uh, what are we going to do is we're going to make our better or the dabeli masala actually ready. So dabeli masala is uh, your, your potato and all the other spices mixed into it. Okay. So this is a really simple way to do it. Um, most of the things that you are going to be taking now is already cooked. So you don't have to cook a lot. Um, you just have to mix it well and make sure it absorbs all the flavor. So what I have here is uh, I have a cup full of uh, warm water. All right. So now we made this dabeli masala earlier. So I'm going to mix this, all of this in this cup full of warm water over here. All right. So we are cooking now. So I've already put some uh, oil to heat in the pan. Um, it's uh, hot enough now. Now, um, this is this is hing. Um, I always do, uh, I always put it in my cooking because hing is good for digestion. Um, and, you know, it helps prevent bad things happening from overeating. Um, so always put a little bit of hing to start with. Um, and then, all we are going to do is our, our readily cooked, we roasted this dabeli masala earlier. Now we put it in the lukewarm water. It's all mixed well. Uh, so now I'm just going to add it over here. Uh, this whole one bowl full of uh, water mixed with dabeli masala. Be careful. This is oil. So it might splatter a little. All right, so now we mixed those together. Just let it simmer for a, for a minute or two. Uh, again, we don't have to cook, cook this a lot. It's already been cooked. All we are doing is just mixing it, you know, making sure it gets absorbed into the oil a little bit. And now on this side, I have uh, mashed, uh, boiled and mashed potatoes already ready over here. Um, and then what I've, what I've done over here is I've just uh, put a half a stick of butter into it uh, to make it a little bit creamy and, and a little bit rich on the side. So uh, this is about uh, five big potatoes um, that I've uh, made it over here. And now we're gonna mix this into already simmering mix over here. Just make sure you mix it well. Um, all this masala has to kind of seep into this boiled potato, boiled mashed potato. Um, we are just, um, as you can see, there is a little bit watery. All we are doing is now reducing. Um, so all this water has to evaporate and we'll, we'll reduce this into um, a, a little bit of a thicker paste kind of a thing. Um, and, and then in the end, um, we are going to add uh, date and tamarind chutney or date and tamarind sauce. Um, again, um, I haven't made this sauce this time around, but, uh, I, I bought it from, um, a, a store, uh, but there are a lot of recipes out there. If you want to make your own date and tamarind sauce, um, and those are really simple and easy recipes as well. Uh, but again, this time around, I just chose to uh, buy from the store directly. 
All right. So um, keep mixing it, keep stirring it until it becomes a little bit reduced. All this water goes away, um, and all you get is a nice thicker paste. Um, and one more thing is that as you go along, and again, if you want to make it more spicy, if you want to make it uh, a little bit um, kind of hot, um, you can add additional masalas onto this. Um, I would just uh, you know keep adding more red chili powder or something if you want to make it hot um, or or other masalas as you as you feel like. All right. Uh, other thing is you can add onions into it if you if you like. That's also another popular recipe. Um, if uh, some people don't like onions, don't add onions. All right. So um, you can see it is reduced now quite a bit, and it is now a, a little bit more homogenized mixture, um, and it's not sticking uh, to the pan over here. So I think this is good. And now uh, the last step in making this. So uh, what I have here is the date and tamarind chutney. Um, this is actually, um, even though they say it's a chutney, I would call it a little bit sauce because it, it's it's a bit uh, watery or a bit liquidy. Uh, so you need a little bit more of that if you are making a real date and tamarind chutney, which is thick, then you have to add a little bit lesser. But this is about a, a half a bowl full of date and tamarind chutney with this. And all of this will go into this. And this one will add a little bit of sweet and tangy taste um, uh, onto this bubbly filling. All right, just uh, mix it a little bit of well. Again, you don't have to cook this a lot. Just mix it enough so that it all mixed up really well uh, into this filling for that really. Okay, so now we made this uh, filling for Dabeli ready. Uh, it's all done. Uh, it's all looking good. And I guess now it's time to make some Dabeli's actually. All right, so now back to the real time. So we are here, now we are gonna make some babeli. So you can take some of these uh, hamburger buns or these are like a slider buns or even those pow buns, you can take it. Uh, just put a little bit of butter uh, on both the sides. You're gonna uh, kind of cook it on the both the sides. Um, let it be kind of a golden brownish. Uh, you don't, uh, again, overdo it. Just have a little bit of toasting. And once it becomes a little bit of golden brown, um, flip it, that's all you need. Uh, you don't have to cook it a lot over here. All right, so we'll come over here, we'll let these two cook, but I've made just a few minutes ago, some of this ready. So now we have our uh, dabeli filling that we made earlier. Um, I've garnished it with a little bit of coriander once it cooled down um, and all you have to do is make sandwiches out of it, kind of a sandwich out of it. So uh, for garnishing, I put already put coriander. Now we made this uh, spicy peanuts earlier on. Put those uh, to give it a little bit of crunch. Um, you put uh, some of the pomegranate um, on top of it to make it a little bit of sweet, tangy taste again. And then lastly, this is nylon sieve, those thin, very thin sieve that also goes on top of it a little bit. I can see uncle's mouth already watering, Nomit. <laughs> yeah, very good. Coming is it. And all you do is now it's ready to serve. That's all you need. This is your dabeli ready. You can actually cook it or uh, press it one more time. The, the word dabili comes from the fact that it's actually pressed one more time. 
into a sandwich maker like this. This is a traditional sandwich maker that um, you know, people used to have um, on the roadside shops and all. Uh, but you can eat them just like this. They are nice and hot. Or you can make them again like that. So this is your street food dabeli. And for people who don't know dabeli or how they can liken it to something else, um, you can call it a sloppy joe. Wow. All right. Enjoy, folks. So who's the who's the lucky one who's going to get to taste it now, Mel? Is, uh, is it the I, mystery person behind the video? Yes. The behind the camera? I, it sounds like Nadia. I don't know. Maybe we got to see someone actually taking a bite. So um, you're going to see all those things going to disappear so soon since I'm right here. I'm and it's so bite. yummy. I want to taste too. No, <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, wow. Are you really wow. eating in front of the camera person, Namit? That is sad. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. This looks so I yum. Uh, yeah, see, I can see. You can all see, see my hand coming. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This, okay, is really, awesome. this looks really professional. Just like the way we get it in Bombay. All right, so that was Dabili for you guys, everyone. None other than Naumit Pathak, uh, the man behind the scenes. All right, so um, we are going to go for the trivia question. So the people, the winners of the trivia question is going to get Dabili, a bite of Dabili and um, a very cool homegrown vegetable uh, cucumber for you guys from our um, Nernuru family. So, but more on that. First, let's go for the trivia question. Keep your hands ready for the on the chat. The question is, what was added into the mashed potato before it was put in the pan? Again, what was added into the mashed potato before it was put in the pan? Okay, that's an easy one. All right, now let's move to our second segment of our episode one, Classical Symphony. Um, so we have two lovely teenagers with us that have been learning classical Carnatic songs for years now, and um, Hasini and Laya. Now they both look up to Shelja, who is Hasini's mom, who teaches singing from Raga School of Music. And other than singing, then these girls, they love volunteering, they love baking, they love to hang out with your friends. And most importantly, to all those parents out there, one of them loves babysitting. I'm going to make a note of that already. So, <laughs> so let's welcome Hasini and Laya. That'll take us through this classical symphony right after this commercial break. Working like a machine. Have a break. Have a Kit Kat. And you could win one of over a million different prizes, including your dream holiday. Visit kitkat-perfectbreak.co.uk. My name is Hasini and I am Leia. Today we are going to sing Notiswaras. Notiswaras are a few compositions in Carnatic music by Muthuswami Dikshita. These swaras are composed in Shankara Bharana. The tunes of these compositions are inspired by the Celtic music that his brother learned. Sarisa, 
शक्ति सहित गणपति शंकर विरक्त सकल मुनिवर सुरक्षाज विनुत गुरु गुहम भक्ता पोषक भवसुत विनायक भुक्ति मुक्ति प्रद भूषितांगम रक्त पदम भोज भवयमे रक्त पदम भोज भवयामे This note to Sarum is about Lord Ganesha, who is worshipped by all of the gods and who protects all of his devotees. The next note to Sarum we will be singing is called Shyamale Meenakshi. Sari ga ma pa pa da ni sa sa ni da pa ma ga ma ga ma ri ga pa ga sa ri ma ri ni sa sa pa 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 ma 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 ga 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 ri 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 pa pa da pa ma ma pa ma ga ga ma ga ri ri ga ri sa ri ga ma pa pa sa ri ga ma pa pa sa ma le mi na chi sundar sar sa chi shankari guru guha samutha ve shive va pa ma ra mu chani pankaj lo chani padma sarvani hari lakshmi vinute sangavi shyamale meenakshi this notice sara is about goddess uh is about the various different attributes of goddess meenakshi from madurai the next song we'll be singing is called rama janardana Wow, Hasin Hasini and Laya, that was great. It was so, really uh, good. 
So, yeah, was it uh, Hasini? You you started learning from the age of five, right? Yes. Is that right? Oh, cool. What did everyone think about these two lovely teenagers? Beautiful, melodious. It was really good. Reminded me of my childhood. Okay. When I was I'm... when when I started learning music. <laughs> and you're still learning, right, Shain? <laughs> I'm still learning. I'm still there at that exactly at that place. <laughs> okay, great, great. Thank you so much, you girls. That was really nice and melodious. I mean, I cannot imagine if there was all of those other music around, it would have been like a take it to the whole next level. You guys have been performing in your school uh, economics and even outside, right? Cultural events. You guys have been doing this. Good, good, good. All the best for all your future events. So let's go to our trivia question for Hasini and Laya segment. This one is easy. You guys ready? How many songs did these lovely girls sing for us all? How many songs did these lovely girls sing for us? <laughs> well, keep, let the answers keep flowing and we are going to move to our third segment for today. This one is interesting. Um, HH News in a flash. Something new we started from season two. Um, we just thought we will share, um, you know, uh, use this forum to share some of the cool updates that's happening in our community so that we are all able to sync up. So the news anchor that is going to be presenting HH News is a talented personality herself. She's a <laughs> South Indian and she's grew, she grew up in Canada. She is a Bharatnatyam dancer and also a baker, you guys. So we will definitely have her come again once to be to show her talent. We'll keep that a secret between us. Well, we believe this is her debut as news anchor. <laughs> and we are hoping to sign a contract with her. Isn't that Shine? That's what you were talking about? Yes. So <laughs> let's welcome Arti Artha. After the commercial break. Mm. So I dropped your laptop mm. down the stairs. Mm. The screen broke. Mm. It cannot mm. be fixed. Mm. So we cool? Mm. Quarter Pounder with Cheese makes tough things seem simple. Now with two new delicious flavors, the BLT and the Ranchero. And welcome to the first segment of Highland Horizons Community News in a flash. So our first topic today is COVID-19. And I know, I know we're all tired of hearing all about COVID-19, but on November 19th, Williamson County officially moved into phase red. So this is really primarily due to increasing transmission rates. This is a good reminder to our residents to continue to follow safe COVID practices, you know, wear your masks, wash your hands, maintain social distance when you're not around people in your household or your bubble, and limit social gatherings and get tested if you have symptoms. There are many testing sites or testing opportunities, and you can also go to the Williamson County site to find more information on free testing, and they've got drive-through test sites, so just go to the site and you'll get a lot more information there. Moving on to a lot, to a much brighter, more cheerful topic for the holiday season, holiday lighting. You may have already seen all around the neighborhood, many of our neighbors have begun um, putting up their holiday lighting early, whether they put it up for Diwali or having early Christmas decorations up. A lot of our neighbors have already put up quite a few Christmas decorations. So if you've already got them up, Please keep them up, keep up this beautiful scenery and this festive cheer going into the, um, into the holiday season. 
And if you haven't already checked it out, take a walk around, take a drive around and enjoy the beautiful view and the lovely displays. There's some beautiful, beautiful displays in the neighborhood. And speaking of walking, our very own Swapna has initiated a wonderful walking challenge to help our community stay fit and motivated, especially in these days where you can't um, go, go to a gym or get out and work out like you would normally want to. Um, in October, Kavita finished the first 40 miles. Way to go, Kavita. And Maha and Pragya both went up to 54 miles. That's fantastic, guys. So if you would like to join the challenge, if you're interested in learning more, or if you want to beat their records, then just reach out to Swapna and she'll give you more information on joining their um, walking challenge. It's also a good time to remind everybody about safety in the streets, right? So if you're out, if you're walking, you're playing, just be mindful of cars and other vehicles around the roads. If you're out at night, wear reflective clothing or something bright so people can see you um, and just be aware. And if you're a driver, please drive slowly and make sure you, you know, take care, have fun, but let's all be safe while we do that. Now, finally, I've saved the best community news for last. Did you know that there is a Guinness World Record holder in our community? No, that's right. Yay, that's right. Macy Curran now holds the Guinness World Record for the women and teen with the world's longest legs. That's amazing, Macy. And Highland Horizon is so, so proud of her. And we're also very excited that there is a celebrity in our neighborhood. There will be a lot more to come about Macy in a future episode of Highland Horizon TV. So make sure you stay tuned and you join in. And that's all for today's episode of Community News in a Flash. Oh my God, I don't think I can beat that. Shine, we'll let Aarti continue the rest of the show. Oh my goodness, Aarti, that was, <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> I, I have a feeling that Shine might now change partnership, Aarti. Yeah. I, think, I think I'm a little worried now. <laughs> That sounded like uh, listening to CNN news. Oh, please, come on. <laughs> awesome, to... that's so cool. And the whole music thing. Oh, I love it. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, good. I'm, I'm uh, maybe, you know, shine that people will start joining our SHTV for all getting all the news and gossip around the neighborhood. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> all right, so. Well, since we do have this tradition of trivia question, we are going to have one even for the community news to make sure all of you are keeping attentive. So, ready everyone? This one is not so tough, like the others. Which Guinness World Record does our Highland Horizon resident Macy Curran hold? Which Guinness uh, World Record does our Highland Horizon resident Macy Curran hold? All right. While those answers are coming over, let's move on to our last and final segment for today, which is Halloween at Highland Horizon. Well, this year has been one of the most challenging years of, um, in fact, of all our lives across the globe. But I can tell you this, living in this very neighborhood, the Highland Horizon community has been the real boom. Now, how? Well, here are a few glimpses of how we as one community came together and made things happen. Well, we did miss a few of you on the shots, however, Please enjoy after the break. To Hamare level can ye chal. Mere saath khelega. Yep, yep. Ah! 
बूस्ट इसमें है प्रोटीन एनर्जी रिच सीरियल्स और न्यूट्रिय जो दे तीन गुना ज्यादा स्टेमिना हमारे साथ खेलेगा अब ये नेक्स्ट लेवल पे खेलेगा बूस्ट इज द सीक्रेट ऑफ आर एनर्जी This year, everything was different. COVID changed our lifestyle, but at Highland Horizon Community, we came together to celebrate Halloween 2020. People packed candies in small bags and kept it on a table in their driveway. Kids can come and pick up one bag. without touching anything else that way everyone will be safe most kids we are wearing masks and then they maintain social distancing hey vibhu are you enjoying the halloween yeah under here oh hey this thing all goes through yes you guys having fun yeah good how to say you could do better stuff like that people took special care in sanitizing the candy bags and keeping it safely on a table keeping the gifts the treats are they sanitized Yes, and you sanitize your hand also, right? Very good. So this is a safe trick or treating. Most people dressed up in their Halloween costumes Hello, Halloween. and took photographs. and people were watching you are enjoying trick or treats so that they maintain the <laughs> safe distance with all the treats are you making the video yes pura yeah. who is this i am the happy halloween each house i am uh, parents i am dressed up were watching <laughs> their kids and others <laughs> Good, good. Nice treats. Hey, Monica. Happy Halloween. Everyone. What costume are you? Wanted to wear their favorite costume. I'm a Joker. You're a Joker. Yeah. <laughs> good, good. We want a trick. No, we want to see. Hello. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hey Switi, happy Halloween! Are you having fun? Yeah, awesome. Where are the Halloween. treats? <laughs> Immense fun. <laughs> Good, very nice. The Halloween nice spirit setup. was very evident in the air. Hey. Hi. I'm Leslie. That's Jeff. Leslie and Jeff. Hi, Leslie. In the greenhouse. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh that's awesome. Right? I will, I used to say that only house with the balcony but then two other things okay. <laughs> before they close the balcony. Yeah. Okay, Rishan Riyan, can you guys wait here for a sec? I want to I love you too. All right. So, hi guys. We are here in our awesome Highland Horizon community and we are here with our great neighbors Jeff and Leslie. Leslie. Awesome. So, how are you guys doing this year? 
She, this is her first time being able to be at Halloween for a little while. So yeah, really, I've had to work last year, so I went a little longer. <laughs> <laughs> well, that yeah, is good. Know, we, so we that is. We don't, have, is, we don't have small kids anymore. <laughs> they don't even trick or treat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that is something fun to have. That I love it. It's a great, right? So I think this community, this community rocks in a way that you find out some way or the other to gel along. Right? Figure yeah. out a way to still communicate. So awesome. Thanks, guys, for your minute. Bye. Have a great Thank you. <laughs> How are you enjoying Halloween this year? Yeah, we are, we are enjoying it so much. <laughs> Is it different? <laughs> yeah. But still having fun, right? Right. Good, good. How Very about good. you? Yeah, same, same. With social distancing. <laughs> you are on video. HSTV. <laughs> you are on HSTV video. Are you enjoying Halloween this year? Is everybody doing their job properly? Yeah. <laughs> yes. All well, all so good. Doing the <laughs> yes. Very good. Happy Halloween. Are you happy enjoying this year? Happy yes. Oh, okay. With happy distancing. Again, please. And then don't touch anything else. Leave Ryan, how do you take with uh, social distancing? I like. Come on, what are you waiting for? <laughs> happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Very exciting. Are you enjoying? I am enjoying. Are you? All the candies are sold. Oh, okay. It's Even sold. with social distancing, it is fun, right? Yeah. See. Yeah. Very feet. much. Fun. See? Yeah. Very you are maintaining fun. six feet. <laughs> Halloween this year? Yes, ma'am. Okay. It's fun. Even with COVID, it's fun, right? Yes. Good. Good. Are you enjoying Halloween? Yes. Even with COVID, it's fun, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. 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 Yes. Happy Halloween. Okay, trick or treating with uh, social distancing. Okay, good, good. Hi, Mania. Happy Halloween. <laughs> you are on TV. I know. You are on camera. Happy Halloween. <laughs> so this is representing Highway Horizon TV. Yay! So what do you guys think about Halloween this year, guys? Hey, I think we're making the most of it, right? Yeah. Oh, that is entirely true. You are right. You are right. That's right. And look at boxing? and look at these guys. Oh my goodness, this is something innovation. Are you guys okay to be on video? <laughs> Are you guys okay to be on a video? Yeah. So we'd like to have you guys and you are? Laura. Laura, yes. And that is? Rachel. Rachel and? Charlie. Charlie, you are awesome. Laura, Rachel, Charlie, neighbors. Look at this. Shine, you have to cover this one, okay? Look at this unique way, okay? We are going to, I think maybe I'll have my second candy this time. No, I've already experienced that. Okay. <laughs> Look at that! I got a candy! Oh, that is awesome. I didn't know that. Isn't that, isn't that cool, innovative yeah. idea? Mr. Great. E. I know. Look at that. That's the yeah. most innovative yeah. candy yeah. delivery yeah. system. Mr. E. I know. Do you want candy? You like it? It's awesome, isn't it? So what do you guys think about um, Halloween this year? Is that in, like in Highland Horizon community. Later? We're still having it. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. I think that has to be a caption. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I love it, laugh. Oh my god, that is 
Okay. Hi guys. This is Morning Godhead from HTV, and we are in the awesome Audio Horizon neighborhood. And this is our day. Look, look at this. Look at this cool setup. Oh my goodness. Just, I don't think we ever did that in the last how many three years of Halloween here. Okay. What's that? Okay. That. Oh, it's that. Yeah, yeah. You gotta watch that. Right? I mean, we just needed a pandemic to see that. Long just one in overtime. Oh, that is true. That is right. There it is. How are you doing, Benny? Good. 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 Hey, Murray. Happy Halloween, my dear. How are you doing this year? I'm hanging in there and I'm good. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Look at this. Yeah. And what about Miss Kara? She, she, uh, she went up the street. Oh, she's the yeah. Yeah. She's been up here and been out here. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Evan, and you guys, these guys, you guys got family, friends, everyone out here. Come on. Yeah. I'm not that jealous, though, but yeah. It's like Oh. It's, it's a T Rex now. It's a T Rex now. That's the baby says. Yeah. Oh, what? Yeah. Yeah. It's a T Rex oh, now. No, no another ninja. So thanks, guys. Yeah. It's really fun. Make sure, make sure, make sure you do that next year too. All right. The pandemic will happen. Happy Halloween, guys. Let's find something good to watch next year. <laughs> <laughs> Are you enjoying Halloween in COVID times? Uh, yes. Very good. I'm very happy that the, the spirit of the festival has not ended. So yes, yes, ended. that is very important, right? That's very important. And Every... we are so blessed that the community is like so lively and everybody is there and we all are following rules and all that. So yes, really yes, good. exactly. I never thought we'll have Halloween celebration this year. Yeah, and and like this actually, everybody yes. followed rules. They were exactly they were so nice. <laughs> they knew only one chocolate has to be taken. That was amazing. And kids were very disciplined also. Yeah, that's what I noticed. They took only one. One, yes. Good. Last time they were just grabbing it, but this time. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Vic. Uh, you are also enjoying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Having fun. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. Happy Halloween again. You too. Thank you. Ganga. How are things? Are you enjoying? Having yes, fun? Yes, you are maintaining yes. a social distance? Yes, yes, yeah, yes. this is more than six <laughs> feet. <laughs> good, good. Happy Halloween. Fun? Yeah. Halloween treats? No. No, no treats? No tricks? Only tricks? Nope. <laughs> Happy Halloween again. You guys are on camera. Whatever you are doing will be used against you. <laughs> Whatever you say or do will be used against you. Happy birthday, Asim. Oh. Happy birthday, Asim. Thank you. Please have your cup. Have, have, have your pumpkin juice. Pumpkin juice? <laughs> so, how is the pumpkin juice, Sarah? Right here. It's very good. <laughs> He's eating, he's drinking pumpkin juice with aloe vera. <laughs> very healthy, man. Babida, how is pumpkin juice? I didn't taste. You didn't taste? Bad taste. <laughs> hey Monica, how was Asim's birthday today? It was awesome. She's getting trees. Awesome. Good, cheesecake. good. Did you enjoy Halloween? Mm -hmm. You made cheesecake? Mama. Mama made? <laughs> good, good. Hello, happy Halloween. <laughs> how is it going? The Halloween yeah, evening. Good turnout. And your name? My name? Yes. Matt. Matt. Laura. Laura. Yes. I'm Shine from nice HHTV. TV. Yeah. So how is the celebration so far so this far year? It's been great. A lot of kids have come out tonight. It's been okay. very nice to see all the costumes. Yeah. It's different, but um, so we still had fun, right? Yes. It almost feels normal. Almost feels normal. Okay. That's very, yes. very great distance, to hear. Distance, of course, but yes. um, it's nice yes. to see the kids out having fun. Exactly. So yes. there was a time, a couple of days back, we were thinking whether it will happen or not. Oh. But I think the community came together. It did. It really so, did. And I don't think we communicated much together. Yes. We all just showed up. Exactly. Yes. And everybody, even the kids, yes. they were maintaining social distancing and then they were taking all the precautions that is necessary. We've done a great job. We all had our masks in case we needed to get oh, yeah, together. Sure. Right? Are ready? Yes, um, yes. We made sure that everyone was safe. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. And um, happy Halloween again. Happy Halloween. So welcome. My name is Shine. And you are? Uh, Danielle. Okay. So, how is Halloween this year? Halloween was great. Yeah. Um, 
was pretty busy. I didn't expect so many kids. We got about 70 of them. And it's, uh, oh, yeah. Fun. And this is a very cool setup. And what's your name? Oh, some character here. <laughs> Are you enjoying? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I always enjoy it. Usually, and that's one day, one day, it was raining, and my, um, and I fell down, so what my girl is doing. Yeah, but this Halloween was better, right? Yeah, yeah this, this Halloween was very nice. Yeah, this with uh, even with social distancing, we were able to celebrate. So that is cool. Yeah, so far so good. You okay. guys can grab a treat. Yeah, you guys can grab a treat. <laughs> There's some cool setup you guys have done here. I like that also. Can I can I take a video of that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> This is some cool, cool setup here. Halloween setup. Very nice. Wow, it looks so scary. So scary and nice. My name is uh, Shine. I'm from HSTV. Hi. And uh, you are? Laura Fuller. Laura I'm and Jack. Jack. I'm Norm. Norman. Okay. Nice to meet you guys. So, how was Halloween, Halloween celebration this year? Very good. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> For you? What's your name? Trent. Okay. And what's your character? What's your costume? Who are you, Trent? What are you? What are you? I'm four. No, what no. are you? <laughs> yeah, what is your costume? Huh? Okay, okay, very good. Very and good. I'm five. Oh, you're five? <laughs> okay, <laughs> good, good, good. So, yeah, so how was the celebration this year? It was good. Man. I, I yeah. think it went very considering well. It was, considering the situation, it was good. Okay, yeah, though with social distancing, COVID. Still, still had a lot of kids. There were a lot of kids out. It was it went really well. Okay, very good to know. There was a time when we thought it is not going to happen. Yeah. But I think the community came together. Yeah, so yeah. Cool. I think with our Facebook page, we were able to all coordinate how we were going to do it, and it okay. worked out really well. Okay, yeah. I'm, I was just going around. It's so happy to see this going going through all all this with all this situation. Very nice to see the celebration going on. Really well. Okay, okay. Thank you so much, and really appreciate this message. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween to you too. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that was really awesome. Good job, Shine, in doing all the recording. <laughs> wow. I really enjoyed doing that. Met all the people, saw all the celebrations. I think we missed a lot more houses that were that had such great setup, but I know we were not able to get there. Um, however, before um, we move on, right? Before people forget what they just saw, I just wanted to quickly place that trivia question out there for the segment. And then we can, we have something else that just uh, popped up for us. Um, the trivia question for the Halloween segment. I'm not sure if this is gonna be a tough one, but I'm gonna try. How many pumpkins were placed in front of the TV in one of our neighbor's driveway? <laughs> How many pumpkins were placed in front of the TV in one of our neighbor's driveway? Um, well, I cannot believe it. Some people are actually answering that. Nice. Okay. Well, um, before um, we actually conclude for today, um, I think um, Nomet wanted to share something. Um, so let's go to Nomet for a quick second, guys. Uh, to Nomet. Yes. Nadia? <laughs> There you go. All right. So in all the rush and all the hubbub 
about making and eating this dabiri, I forgot to mention one important thing. Remember we made that uh, garlic chutney? So make sure you put the garlic chutney on the buns before cooking <laughs> your dabiri. No. So Nadia will get to eat one more? That's very important. <laughs> No, that was awesome. <laughs> so this goes on top. And then there are two sauces that goes on top. So this and you have to make sure that you have the another set of your khajur in the chutney or date and tamarind chutney that goes on the other one. All right. That concludes the episode of making the <laughs> Now, now with that one, which is fully done, I'm going to come to eat it downstairs. <laughs> okay, awesome, awesome. That's that's great, Naomi. Thank you for uh, you know sharing that to our viewers. Otherwise, I'm sure they would have just thought of eating garlic chutney separately <laughs> with something else. So, well, that brings us to our um, end of today's um, episode one. I really hope you guys had a great time. Um, thank you to our trivia sponsors, the Pathats, Naumit, uh, myself, and the Nurnaru fam family. They um, are going to give their own homegrown um, cucumber to the lucky winner. And um, thank you for all our presenters. Um, our ad manager, Archil. Our new core team member, um, Anu Reddy from the Gated Community. She's going to be the lead for us. And we are looking for more volunteers from the other sides of this community so that we can get more representation. So please, um, if you do want to help us um, or present or actually uh, be a trivia sponsor, um, be part of the core team, right? Please do write to hhtv at gmail.com or just message myself or Shine and we will be glad to help. Um, and hope you all enjoyed our season two, episode one of Highland Horizon TV. Thanks, everyone, once again. Thank you.